Well, tell us about that lightning strike that came so close to you. Well, what happened was is I was uh, tracking the storm that was coming through Lake Elsinore and doing all the damage down there. And what I was trying to do was stay ahead of it so that I could kind of like monitor any damage that was going on. So what I did was I parked uh, on the south end, well, the north end of Lake Elsinore off of Indian Truck Trail and Interstate 15 and was experiencing a lot of lightning strikes that were going around me. And it just so happened just uh, I just had the perfect uh, vantage point, a nice, beautiful very close within 50 feet lightning bolt just came down right in front of me and just scared the living uh, daylights out of me it was uh it was quite an amazing experience that's for sure oh my goodness well well you uh, of course track the forecasts and so you know to anticipate what to go chase and so tomorrow could be even more active than today yeah that is correct um with the uh, pr uh, close proximity of Hurricane Odile, um, it is definitely uh, sending moisture and instability our way, so I'm anticipating a lot more action tomorrow as well. Now, I, I, I would like to ask you this, because a lot of people think this, why do you do this? It's, it's really scary. <laughs> well, you know, I, I get asked that question a lot, and really the short answer is, is that I love weather, and I've been a weather uh, um, fanatic since uh, childhood, and really, you know, the only way that you know, I find myself uh, enjoying weather uh, the most is actually being out in it. And, you know, because a lot of times you can't just sit around the house and wait for a storm to come to you because uh, most of the time it'll miss you. So I enjoy actually getting out in it and experiencing it. Was this the closest uh, lightning bolt ever came to you? No, you know, um, no, this isn't, but this is the one that actually was visually the most dramatic that I've had. I've had close lightning strikes where they're off to the right or left, and I didn't actually get a, you know, a, get a good view of it or shot of it, but of course I knew it was close. So this was actually probably the best. All right, well, stay safe out there. That storm chaser, Will Wilkins, joining us live on the KNX Newsline.